Yo, what's up? What's happening? What's good? The Boxing Source checking in here. And I wanted to talk about Ryan Garcia. That's right, Ryan Garcia. There was talk about him having another fight here in 2022 or his next fight in 2022. As of course, 2021 was like a, a really weird year. He did, you know, have his bout uh, there against Luke Campbell. What was that? January 2nd, 2021? where he scored that knockout after, you know, getting knocked down himself. And then, you know, we're trying to find out, okay, who's he going to fight next in 2021? And we never really got an answer. You know, um, you know, we could have fought a few guys. Uh, they're in the lightweight division in 2021. Didn't end up doing it. Now, here we are in 2022, and we do have him stepping in the ring against Emmanuel Tego. Now, for me, it kind of threw me off because my thing was, I was really, really convinced that he was going to fight Jojo Diaz. This was particularly after Jojo Diaz had his fight with the WBC lightweight champion, Devin Haney, last December, you know, where Jojo Diaz did fall short. But I just thought that it would have been, you know, fairly uh, easy for Golden Boy to set up that fight between Ryan Garcia and Jojo Diaz. But they went another route for Ryan Garcia. That's Emmanuel Tego. And, you know, Emmanuel Tego is a very experienced fighter. There's, you know, some uh, that do kind of like rate him among the top 10 lightweights uh, there. Of course, 135 pound division. Um, but, you know, uh, he hasn't yet had, you know, a fight of that uh, particular magnitude to like kind of like say, hey, um, this guy is going to be very solid. Now, he is, you know, under the management of Peter Kahn, who also uh, is behind the unified lightweight champion, George Cambosos. And those two guys have, you know, had a couple of battles you know, here and there in reference to sparring and whatnot. And, you know, kind of like them sharpening their skills uh, while they're in the ring for sparring sessions. So Emmanuel Otego is a, you know, fairly experienced fighter. Uh, some Somebody that could, you know, give Ryan Garcia a few problems. Uh, if Garcia still has a few things that he has to work on in the ring. You kind of like seen that in his bout against Luke Campbell. Where, you know, Luke Campbell was able to catch his... Uh, you know, with his hand down, you know, uh, that's how Campbell was able to score that knockdown. Uh, but, you know, Ryan Garcia, you know, if he uh, does, you know, kind of like work on a few things a little bit well, you know, while he's under the tutelage uh, there of Eddie Reynoso, that he could probably come out and be fairly impressive against Emmanuel Tego. Uh, there also was talks about him potentially fighting for the unified lightweight championships as like i said emmanuel tego and george cambosas pretty much around the same camp and they're managed by the same person in peter khan so if you have someone like uh ryan garcia defeating emmanuel tego then he could eventually face george cambosas later on in the year you know and you know even with that you know george cambosas um, it's there with the lightweight titles, um, and we're not sure what his next direction is going to be. But with Ryan Garcia here having this fight against Emmanuel Tego, that could potentially mean that Garcia could get a shot at the unified lightweight titles in 2022. But we'll see. For some boxing fans, we're not even sure if Ryan Garcia is still going to fight. But at least we have an announcement and we pretty much like have a estimated date as to when Ryan Garcia faces Emmanuel Tego. But for right now, we got to see if that will happen. But that's what we got in this particular topic. You can subscribe to The Boxing Source here on YouTube. We really appreciate it. On that note, folks, I'm out. Peace.